What's going on guys, it's Ali, welcome to the part 10 of my 3D printed 8 scale Toyota Supra. In today's video, we will be working on the brake again and finish it where we started in the part 9. So we installed the new hub design and the calibers. In today's video, we will put the cables on and test it out. So here is the idea for the brake. I designed this servo bracket for the cables. These two will be for the front cables and these two will be for the back. I put it in the middle so it's easier for all the corners will come to this point and I will put the red straw I just showed you two will be for the front and two will be for the back and for connecting the straws we will need a spacer for these and I designed it this and it's like this here is the one and if we look at the inside of this how it looks so the cable so the straw will goes in here and it will stop and not gonna intersect with each other and here is the custom servo horn i will put a m3 bolt here the cables will come here for the front and the cable comes here for the back and it will pull like this that's the idea now i'm gonna print this one with creality ender 3 or cr10 max and this one will be resin printed and I will print a bunch of these because I will need a lot for connecting these straws together. Another problem I was facing with these links, these bolts are very loose, like it will put a lot of play on the steering. So what I did, I put an o-ring between them, so it will be like this. Right now it doesn't have any play, but it's smooth when it plays and not wiggly like this. So I will show you how I put the o-ring inside this and make it like this. Alright, I'm gonna show you how I make this one stiff. You can hear it. It's not gonna be weakly after that. And in order to take this bolt out, we have to take this brass insert. We can do that with plier and you can push it out. It comes out easily. Now what we're gonna do, we will put a smallest o-ring here and it will hold. And for that, we have these ones. Now we will press the brass in. So I will put two spacer or not and then press it with the vise. Now it's perfect and not wiggly like this. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is offering 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. You just have to put the file and it will tell you the price and shipping date. PCB Ways link in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for PCB Ways for sponsoring this video. Alright, I already 3D printed the brake mount for the servo. I have 20 kilo, but you can use more, but I think 20 kilos are enough. I have the straws ready, it's from the spray cans that I showed you before. And I resin printed these straw connectors, I printed a bunch of them, so we will need a few for each side I think because these straws are short a bit so for the front I think we will need two to get to the center to the mount and from the back I think it will be same for this side because the mount will be in this side and for the back till it comes here we will need three of these so we will have to use two of these and the servo horn I will use M3 bolts so I can hold this steel wire and for the other end that comes here I did some testing so I use an M3 nut and I used vice so it will be like this for the brake mount I will remove these two bolts and put it back and it will be like this Next, I will center the servo and put the horn on, and then the straws and the cable.
All right, all the brake cables are connected with the servo. And I adjusted each cable. So it pulls like 60% for the front and 40% for the back because I'm thinking if I want to do a burnout, so it doesn't have to be 50% and 50%. It has to be a bit loose at the back and locked front wheels. But right now it's very good. I will put the wheels on and test it out. Alright, we are done with the brake. It was a big accomplishment, but we did it and it's working very good. Like it locks the four wheels. And I have something else. I have to redesign this because for the bolt, this one you can't bolt it on because the screwdriver not gonna work here. I thought I have space when I designed it, but in reality, it's totally different. So. I'm gonna put it under this one so you can bolt it down from here. For the next video, I will bolt down the differential and make the dog bone. I will make, keep it standard so you can purchase it on AliExpress or Amazon. I think it has to be around 33 millimeter, but we will see. And the next thing I need for the gas, I have to figure out where to put a small servo uh, for the throttle for the engine. And for the gas tank, I think I have to put it here. It's the best place for this. And it's more realistic. And it will go here to the gas door. But I'm thinking in the future, I will redesign the gas tank. I will make it bigger because this one is very small. Like if you run this engine and it will finish it so fast. So for now, I will make a mount and it will be like this. But after I run the car and know everything is good, I will redesign the gas tank so it has to be like in this size and bigger. So right now we have the brake, the clutch, steering and changing all the gears and air suspension. I think we did a very good job on this and for the next few videos, hopefully we will run the engine. Hope you guys enjoying the project as I do. If you are new here, I will put the playlist in the video description box below how I started this project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.